Thank you for taking time to hear about the work of the Georgia Legislature this past week. The major legislation considered and passed was the Supplemental Appropriations Budget, which adjusts the 2014 state budget to recognize and allocate new revenues received since the budget passed last year. I was honored to host United Kingdom Day in the Senate with Her Majesty's Consul General Jeremy Pilmore Bedford. Georgia has a special relationship, both personal and business, with Great Britain and its people. On February 6, I spoke on the Senate floor to honor President Ronald Reagan. It was important to recognize his 103rd birthday and his great contributions to America. And Senate Resolution 736 passed this week. If you see a similar measure passed in a supermajority of other states, it would allow a special convention to meet to consider an amendment that would impose financial restraints on the federal government. And I also had an opportunity to talk at the Capital Coalition of Conservative Leaders press conference. I spoke about my legislation, the Federal Abortion Mandate Opt-Out Act at Senate Bill 89. It prohibits using taxpayer dollars to pay for someone else's abortion. And I also discussed our active efforts to stop Obamacare in Georgia while visiting with some members of Americans for Prosperity at the Capitol this week. They came to talk about and offer ideas on reducing the size of government and its burden on taxpayers. Please check back next week to hear the latest news from your state capitol. Thank you.